I'm joined here this morning by Tracy Warbo. Good morning. Good morning, Ashley. So it's to my understanding that it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So how does exercise fit into this? Yes, actually, Ashley, one in eight women are going to be diagnosed with breast cancer this year. And research has shown that if you achieve 150 minutes of physical activity, it can significantly reduce your um, outcome of breast cancer or diagnosis of breast cancer this year. So just 150 minutes of physical activity each week can significantly lower your risk. And actually those who achieve that, who possibly have been diagnosed with breast cancer, actually have a 40% lower risk of actually death um, from breast cancer because of physical activity. And do you have a personal relation to this? I actually do. My mom was diagnosed with breast cancer a few years ago and she was a picture model of health before she was diagnosed. And I truly believe that if she hadn't been as active as she was during her diagnosis, that you know the outcome could have been different. Um, she had a lot of energy during her diagnosis and she actually had a double mastectomy, so she had a lot of energy. She rebounded greatly after that diagnosis and now you would never know that anything was ever wrong. And so do you think eating healthy as well as exercising, maybe before even you're diagnosed and then during being diagnosed would Help with this? Oh yeah, you know, nutrition plays a big role in it. The fitness plays a huge role in it. You know, a lot of it is mindset as well, but fitness also, you know, helps with the immune system. And the healthier you are, you know, it can really keep that immune system built up, um, which I think plays a huge role in the outcome. And so it can fight off some of these things that people could inhabit later in life. Yeah, it can probably kill cancer cells um, as well as, you know, slow the growth of them as well. And so what are some tips that you can give to the public? Yeah, some tips that I have for you this morning are, you know, take the stairs um, anytime you can versus the elevator, park your car further out in the parking lot, go for some brisk walks, brisk walks outside. Uh, those are also, you know, good ways, you know, the exercise doesn't have to be strenuous, but just movement. I like to say that movement is medicine and the more you can just move out there, the better off that you're going to be. So maybe just a little bit every day. It doesn't even have to be, I guess, at the gym. Just a little something every day of extra of parking farther away and taking that walk or taking the stairs, like you said, instead of the elevator. Little yeah. things like that. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you, Tracy, for coming on today and giving us some tips about this and tell us about your personal experience. Yeah, thank you.